Welcome to this 3D assembly tutorial in SOLIDWORKS. So let's start. At first, click on file, select new, select assembly and click OK. And now I am importing this bearing housing here. So this is the bearing housing. Let's apply some appearance to it. So now it is ready to go. So change the background to plain white. And now it's time to insert the bearing from the design library. So in case you do not have this design library, just drop down this menu, click on adds in. And in this window, you need to check this uh, SOLIDWORKS toolbox library. And then just expand this. And uh, in here, you need to go in this ANSI metric and then bearing and then ball bearings and then select this radial ball bearing and drag in this environment here you need to specify the size and also the other details of the ball bearing and i am giving all of these details in the description and you can watch these details here as well so here you have to specify the detailed version of this ball bearing and here you can see the balls have been appeared and now insert some cage here and then just simply check this box and now let's uh, move this gear to here and now let's rotate it and now it is ready for the assembly select mate here select the outer surface of the bearing and inner surface of the housing click ok and now select this surface of the bearing and this surface of the housing and here we need to specify the distance so select this option and now specify the distance as to and here you can see we have to specify 2.5 so specify here 2.5 as distance and now press enter here you can see the bearing is aligned with the housing and now let's rotate it and here you can see the bearing is working fine in the housing so insert another bearing housing in this environment window and now let's insert the same ball bearing again for that go to design library and insert this same radial ball bearing here in this environment window we do not need to specify any parameters because we have specified uh, earlier so now let's adjust it move and rotate and now click on this mate option select the inner surface of the bearing housing and the outer surface of the bearing and uh, similarly just select the side of this bearing housing and the side of bearing and we need to specify some distance here specify 2.5 here okay so it's not working so cross the window again and uh, select these two walls again and specify the distance as 2.5 but i think it's not going to work on this side so move to the other side of this housing select mate select this side of the bearing housing and this side of the bearing and now specify 2.5 and now it's working properly and now both housings and bearings are ready now we need to set the distance between them so move this bearing housing here and now uh, we need a shaft for that uh, open a new file open a new part file specify the background as plain white and make a sketch on top plane make a circle here at this origin specify the, the diameter as 15 millimeter and then simply go to features select extruded ball space and simply extrude it up to 200 mm click ok and select this uh, surface of the shaft click on sketch and make a center rectangle here now specify the dimensions specify each side as 4 specify here 4 click enter and simply specify the dimension of this side as 4 
then click enter and now go to features select extruded cut this time and here we need to specify 10 and then click enter so specify some material to this in metal you can specify any material to this uh, shaft and now make a chamfer here select this edge specify here 2 and then select the other edge of this shaft this one I think 1 mm is fine for the chamfer and then click OK now here I am specifying some different appearance ok so now save this uh, file as shaft press ctrl s and save this file as shaft and then close this file and import the same file by clicking here in insert component select shaft click on open and here we we can change the orientation click on y axis now this is fine so click here in this environment window and now we have to align these two bearing housing first so select this surface click on mate and then select the other surface the surface of the uh, other bearing housing and now we have to select this option parallel okay and now select the shaft and the bore of the bearing click ok and now select the shaft again and the bore of the other bearing and here we go click ok and now the shaft can move uh, freely in this bearings so select uh, the shaft here and the inner race of the bearing and here specify the distance as uh, specify the distance as zero zero and then click ok so the shaft is a little bit bigger so select this shaft select this shaft and open it in a separate window so added this extruded boss by specifying your mid plane and extruded up to 150 and then click ok and then simply exit now click on mate select this side of uh, this bearing housing and this side of this bearing housing and here we need to specify the distance for that select this option and here specify as 95 mm and then click ok so the distance between these bearing housing have been uh, set to 95 and now it's time to specify some colors you can specify any color i am specifying these colors we are done with the um, assembly tutorial and if you want to see the motion study analysis you can watch the next video so from here we are done with the assembly part and if you find this tutorial helpful then please subscribe my channel thank you